Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our video today. Um, just want to say a quick hi to all the new subscribers that we've uh, managed to get on board in the last few weeks. Thank you very much for subscribing. Um, EO Action Removal video for you today. Um, you can see it looks quite soft on the outer section of this, uh, this EO Action. We're just going to use a standard size ulnar tube. Um, going in, just probing around the edges of this wax, just to see if we can just free it up from the uh, from the ear canal wall. And just see a lot of it is getting sucked into the uh, the machine here. here we are just trying to loosen loosen some of this wax. Very soft and sticky wax on the outer portion of the ear canal. You can just see a little ring on the right hand side of the screen there, which is skin, uh, which looks quite old and. Um, quite hardened um, sometimes when the skin is detached from the ear canal but it doesn't come away you get this very hard sort of keratinous um, thick skin that, that builds up um, which is really tough and um, that's what's holding this lump of wax and you can see just how tough this skin is as I'm pulling on it just to try and remove it see it really pulling on the canal wall there so it's all it's it's dead skin it's detached but it's just really tough stuff um, you can see there's actually a ring of it that goes right the way around the ear canal. So as we start to pull on the bottom section here, you can just see more skin lifting there. There you go. So lots and lot of this, this, this dead and hard skin in the ear canal, but it's making it very difficult to get a grip on the wax that's sitting behind it. And I can't get this wax out until this skin has been removed. So I'm still going to use the um, Zolner. I know you guys have seen me use lots of different tools. You're probably asking why we're not using a Jobson horn or maybe the crocodile forceps on this. A Jobson horn is only going to um, pull this skin and push it back against the ear canal. We're not going to be able to get it out with that. Crocodile forceps, yes, we could use a set of crocodile forceps, but the difficulty is looking at how this skin is forming. If we get a grip on this skin with a crocodile forceps, that's all it's going to do. It's going to tear small pieces of skin away. Now, with the, the larger zolna tube, what I'm trying to do is bunch as much of this skin into the zolna as I can uh, for two reasons. One, it'll help me to get a better grip on the skin to be able to try and remove it. And secondly, um, we stand less chance of it whistling around in the ear canal. You can just see I'm just wiggling it back and forth, trying to tease this old sort of hardened skin out of the canal because I can't do anything until this has come out. So you can see we're just really just rocking it back and forth, trying to detach it from the canal wall. Uh, it's kind of wrestling me a little bit here as hard as I'm pulling it out it's holding in so it's uh, just trying to get as much of a grip as you can so it's a, a case of sort of pulling it and wiggling it back and forth and then, then sort of just maneuvering it out a little bit more here we are and just start to see it maneuvering out to the canal now I don't think it's going to come out one piece it's going to break there you go um, so we're just going to go in now and get the next section so we've got some of it away, but you can see it's all moving. If you look just past the section tube, you can see the whole lot moving in that canal. There you go, we're getting a better grip on it now. So really starting to get a, a much stronger suction grip on this, uh, this skin. Still trying to maneuver it out. Um, you see me sort of use that sort of wiggling technique on the, on the wax, but um, it does help sometimes to get most things out of the ear canal as far as uh, skin, debris, wax and things like that is concerned. There you go, just that rocking motion back and forth is just trying to loosen it as we're pulling it out. You can see at the moment it's just breaking away in small bits. Most of this, as you can tell, is getting sucked straight into the machine. So this will end up in the tank at the front of, uh, of our suction machine here. But really struggling to get a good grip on this. There we go, and now we're starting to get a little bit of movement to that skin. There you go. You can see that's ah, broken. That's so frustrating because it looks like it's all going to come out, but it doesn't quite all get out. Um, <laughs> really kind of wiggling up down, really loosening that skin out. There you go. Okay, so you can see all the skin wax at the base of that chunk there. When we look in there, then uh, the eardrum's got a little bit of retraction to it. That's where those two little dark circles were. Um, most of the wax got sucked into the machine, so this is that large piece that we took away. So you can see it's about one and a half centimeters there with that dry skin. But um, yeah, quite an interesting one to watch. Well, there we are, guys. Um, thank you very much for watching again. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, take care.